Hey Riff Masters, today I'm here to help you go from this to this. Down picking is an often overlooked guitar technique in the metal guitar community. However, I believe it's the absolute foundation for every metal guitar player that leads to more efficiency, better tone and overall metal riff mastery. So in this video, I'm going to show you the one technique that will drastically improve your down picking ability. Pick attack. Pick attack is basically how you come at the strings with your pick. Which angle, how much intensity, the slant, all that kind of stuff. I believe that's the most important thing that a lot of people overlook when down picking riffs. Now in order to play like the down picking riff god himself, James Hetfield, you want a heavy pick attack, like so. <laughs> to get a consistent heavy pick attack, you need to do these things. You need to have your hand resting against the bridge, almost in the palm muting position. You want a tight grip on your thumb and finger on the pick and a loose wrist. And you want to make sure the position in which you pick is between the bridge and neck pickups and you want to do that by angling in like so. One of the best ways to practice efficiency and consistency with a heavy pick attack is to put your amp or plug-in on a low gain setting. I'll show you an example in a second but the reason why I say this is because then you're using all of the power and driving force from your wrist, thumb, finger, arm, all of that stuff instead of relying on the distortion or overdrive pedal in front of your amp or plug-in. A good way to monitor your heavy pick attack is to record yourself playing riffs. As you'll see in this first clip, I'm playing with a soft pick attack and the waveform is relatively small. Now you'll see in this second clip, the wave files are much larger than they were in the first one. That's because I'm utilizing a heavy pick attack and still using the same dry low gain preset. This is really good for recording as it means you rely more on your pick attack than you do on turning up the gain or using more distortion pedals. In the screen recording of Logic, you'll see that the heavy pick attack is a bigger wave file compared to the soft pick attack being a lot smaller both are using the same exact plugin preset and that shows instantly that when you attack it more with the pick and your arm, it makes a big difference in your overall tone. But don't be disheartened if you have a go at this and you find it really difficult. The best way to do this is to practice, practice, practice. I grew up playing Metallica riffs, Slipknot, Trivium, Lamb of God, all those kind of bands that focus on a really heavy pick attack. So I've been doing this for a really long time, but I've made it easier for all of you. I've made a course Metallica made easy, 10 riffs, that you can practice your heavy pick attack and down pick chugs with. There's a link in the description below and the first lesson is free. Something else that will help your pick attack is the pick you use, the gauge of strings you use, and also the thickness and the material of the pick. In this video, I'm using the Tortex Flow, which I think is 0.88, but I also use 1.14 as well. Again, it's all preferential, but I believe a slightly thick pick will really help you can go up to 1.5 or 2, but again, the thickness will change the overall sound. And the strings I'm using are Ernie Ball 9-42s, but I've changed out the low 42 for a 52. I'm in E standard, and I believe that going between E standard and drop D, you need a slightly thicker string to handle that tension change. And also, I personally build up the best consistency in stamina with a thicker string to bounce off of. But if the strings are too thin or the pick is too thick, my stamina just goes out the window and I have to resort to alternate picking. So play around and find that best gauge for you. But for me, E standard 52 gauge on that low E. If you want to know more about the strings and the picks that I recommend, you can also download my free essentials toolkit for beginners in the link in the description below, where it has all kinds of tips, amps, tones, picks, strings, beginner guitars, all that kind of stuff. So that's today's video. Thanks for checking it out. If you enjoyed it, like by pressing the little thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and also what you'd like to see more of because I'd like to start doing more of these kind of short tip videos. And if you're new to the channel and you found it because of this video, subscribe and ring the bell because then you'll be notified when I post more just like this one. Thanks again everyone and I'll see you guys very soon.